Are you looking for some awesome Android applications to create personalized user experience with your Android smartphone? If your answer is yes, then continue watching. This simple and clean at a glance widget has really taken me closer to actually owning a Google Pixel device. The widget app is called Another Widget and it basically provides basic information like date, time, weather. You can go ahead and add music information. It simply fuses this information into a very nice and clean widget. Take out the new Pixel 7a and this home screen of mine on a techno device and you cannot tell the difference. So to create minimal looking home screen setups, you can try this application called Another Widget. Link will be in the video description. As we all know, the bottom line of customization is to create a different user experience to have a personal feel of your Android device and another application which can help that agenda is called Edge Card Launcher. This application has integrated almost all the basic tools necessary into one small card which you can open with a swipe down the edge of your smartphone. You can access the volume settings, touch, auto rotate, music control, battery settings, and many more on this card. You also have the option to add mostly used applications and your favorite contacts on the card as well. With this, you have been able to create a personal user experience rather than going by the default way. Let's say you have to open the app drawer and open the contact app to call your favorite person. You can just swipe down the edge of your screen for that. And within the application itself, you can make changes to the color accents, change the look and feel of the edge card, change the position of the trigger. It is a very useful application that when you get used to using it, you will save a lot of time. Still on minimalism, Pi Launcher is one very unique Android launcher that will definitely get your attention. It is very easy to use. You get an empty home page after you install. And all you have to do to open an application is just touch the screen and get this set of icons called the Pi menu. Then just release on the application you want to open. To find other applications, just tap on the home screen once to open the app drawer or use the search option at the top. It's just that simple. The next application you can use to customize your smartphone is called One for Wall. This wallpaper application has gained some attention from most Android apps channels and that's because of the AI generated high quality wallpapers it has. Seriously, the wallpapers are very stunning and in high definition. They are mostly artworks and as you scroll you get this parallax effect on the wallpapers which is a very amazing UI effect. For the free version, you have over 400 wallpapers you can use and at least 3 new wallpapers added daily. And for the premium version, you have about 1,500 wallpapers for you to use to customize your home screen and you have two new ones added daily. It is free to download on the Google Play Store so you can give it a try. Still on my current home screen, these icons are called Lawn Icons or Lawn Icons from the camp of Lawn Chair Launcher and these icons really make this home screen very clean. It has both white and dark backgrounds and therefore, if your Android smartphone system can switch between light and dark modes, then this pack is a very good choice for you. Launcher recently released this pack and it is now available to be used with any third party launcher aside the Launcher launcher itself, but I'll leave a link to the Launcher Telegram channel for you to download from there. If you are looking for a different set of icons to customize your home screen, then check out Phantom Dark Icons. For your minimal home screen setups, you can throw these icons on and you have an aesthetic home screen. The line structure is a really good look and even though they are colored icons, they will still be perfect icons especially when you are using Niagara Launcher. It is free on the Google Play Store so you can download and then try it out. Super Status Bar is very common but still worth mentioning. If you have been using it, then you know how useful it is. Its best feature is letting you swipe forward and backwards on the status bar to increase or decrease the screen brightness. Quickesa is also another useful Android tool to create a personal experience. You can just swipe from the edge of your screen for the cursor which can be used to assess the upper parts of your screen without moving your hand upward. And this is very useful for those with smartphones with bigger screens. Comment below if you use any of these applications I've mentioned already. And also let me know some unpopular but very useful applications you've been using. Leave a comment and I'll check out the application. And just like you've been doing always, 
a like and a sub to the channel would mean a lot to me so kindly consider subscribing to the channel and also liking the video. As always, thank you for watching.